welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are going to get started on this hour of entertainment and fun while I answer your questions about life, love, career, finances, or help you connect with a loved one up above. If you want to connect with a loved one up above, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. If you'd like to ask a question, I just need an exact question about life, love, career, finances. Please don't ask like just like my next three months. That's a full reading and I do private readings. I'm happy to do a private reading and we can go over what's going to happen for you in your next six, three months. But for the sake of the show and all the callers and listeners and watchers, just one exact question about one area, one specific area in your life is the best way to go. Don't get scammed. I'll never reach out to you. Please don't get scammed. I will never reach out to you. Uh, if somebody's reaching out to you, telling you you need something from, it's not me. Trust it. It is not me. Okay, I am going to start today with um, with um, a, f a few little things. Uh, if you're calling in, we'll be taking calls one at a time. I'll be alternating that with questions in the chat on YouTube. If you'd like to watch live on YouTube or call in, the show goes live every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. I do ask that if you're calling in or you are um, asking a question on the chat, um, subscribe, hit the subscription button. And then that way you also get notified every single time I come on. Okay, I'm going to start with names of people that could be your loved ones uh, it, names okay names i don't know why i can't say this right now i do this every single show just about the name could be your name your loved one's name that is up above or of a person place or thing pet whatever it is that you are uh, both um, that you would know. Okay, we're going to go into names. So if the name makes sense to you for you or someone in your life, it's it's your it's it's yours. And even if it's somebody else, there are a lot of common names like Bob, which is a name I'm getting. That could apply to fifty people, and it could apply to all fifty people. Okay, so the first name I'm getting is Bob. The next name is Jillian. Um, the next name is, um, well, it's actually a show, Gilligan's Island, which is a confirmation. If your person up above or you loved Gilligan's Island, that's a confirmation. Your person is uh, being connected with you. The next name I'm hearing is, well, this is with Santorini. Santorini. I just only know that from a song. I don't practice Santorini. I think that's what they say. I don't have no crystal ball. I don't know. I'm not sure what Santorini is. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to leave that there. The next one is, um, the next one is, um, the next name is Marie. Marie, ah. Uh, or Marie. The next name is, <laughs> I think somebody's Poppy. It could be like a Poppy in a field, like P-O-P-P-Y or like, ooh, Poppy. <laughs> Don't ask what's wrong with me. Nobody's been able to figure it out yet. <laughs> Just go with it. Am I like 50 shades of red right now? <laughs> I feel like I need a fan. <laughs> I 
let me compose myself and get back to the show. <laughs> sometimes, I'm just saying, sometimes <laughs> I'm going to have to, I'm seriously going to have to stop doing names. And uh, should I do confirmations or songs? I'm hearing songs. We're going to go to songs. I can't, I can't even go into more names now i have to go straight to songs so there's that songs um walking in the rain and the snow when there's nowhere to go and you feel like a part of you is fine okay that song now i'm gonna tell you the song could be a song your loved one loved you love or it was played at a wedding or something like that whatever it is the next song is um, Faithfully. Please don't. I, I can't sing that. If you don't know Faithfully, it's not your song. Okay. The next song, Anything Foreigner, Anything Foreigner. The next song is um, People Are People, So Why Should It Be That You and I, Something, 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 Something. Okay. People are people. If you know, and you know what, even if I just say two words to the song, if it's your song, you're going to know it. You're absolutely 100% going to know it. And you're going to be able to say, yeah, I know exactly who that is, what that is. Or yeah, that's a song I love. It's from someone above. Um, the next song is that, oh, what's her name? Uh, it's either come away with me oh nora um if you know you know it's either fly away with me or come away with me but that's kind of the beat um the next one is uh temptation and i'm not maybe it's the group temptations or a song that says temptation in it and then the next song is ch 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 changes <laughs> i'm not going any further with that song and then the next song is that song gasolina da, 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 da. i don't know any of the other words i probably couldn't sing them because well i can barely speak english and i think most of that is in another language so there's that. The next song is, um, mm, I love this song from my childhood. Hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie. That's Samore. Something Signore. Okay, I can't sing that either. And it was my, um, because um, somebody in our house was from Sicily and we played a lot of Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra. Not that that was my era, just it was their era. Okay, the, the next song is um, Take a Chance on Me. Oh, Blonde. Blonde. I think that's Blonde. Take a Chance on Me. Da na 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 na. I get, uh, take a Chance on Me, that song. Um, I'm going to do one more song. Uh, the next song is um, I, I'm hearing words. I have to get uh, something about a bridge. Something about a bridge. Something about a bridge. Okay, I'm going to do two confirmations. Um, this could be a confirmation that um that lets you know but the, i i'm two lips and then the other confirmation so whenever you see two lips a tattoo picture whatever it's your loved one around you and you're going to know if it, again if it's for you you're going to know it's for you and the next confirmation is um the next okay the next confirmation is house plants House, house, house plants, <laughs> house plants. So those are confirmations. 
So the confirmation house plants could be this person had a lot of house plants, you have a lot of house plants, or anytime you see a house plant, your loved one is with you. Okay, if you are in the YouTube chat and asking me a question, thank you. I allow one question on the phone. If you're calling in, you get one question. So in the chat, please be aware of that. Um, if you've already asked a question, I um, am allowing one question uh, per person, even even uh, on the chat, just to be fair to everybody. Otherwise, I'm ask, answering a couple of questions for people. I'm trying to find my place on the chat so I know um, right there. Okay, and please, again, wherever you're, if you're on Blog Talk, if you're wherever you are, just hit that button. Uh, so you know every time I come in, but especially if you're asking a question on um, what you may call it, YouTube. Okay, 614, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm calling from Ohio. How can I help you? Um, I have a question about there was wind outside. Um, my question is about what do you think um, my talents might be as far as career? Is that an okay question to ask? I'm sorry. Can you can you repeat the question? I, I you you just broke up a little bit. Um, what do you think my talents that I could use in career might be? Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to repeat the question to you just to make sure I, I did hear it correctly the first time. What do you think my chance might be in career? Is that your question? My talents. Oh, talents. your talents. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For a moment, I was like, um, okay, what your talents might be for career? Well, writing, uh, the first thing I see is pen and paper, like a, um, a, no a notebook. So writing, it, whatever that means for you. So I'm going to give you some of your talents, some of your strong points. What you do with it is up to you. Now, when they say writing, it might be writing code for like it computer stuff. But what I'm seeing is pen and paper, whatever that means for you. I feel like you, at some point, I hear writing script, and again, that could be computer, that could be theater, that could be for a film or a movie. It could be, you're going to know best, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. You have a really creative freaking mind. You can, I feel like, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Are you super duper creative? Do you have a good imagination? Um, I, I used to, I would say yes, but it's kind of dwindled recently. Okay. Cause I haven't been using it, I think. Yeah. You know, as more responsibilities come in and we have more things on our mind, sometimes our creative or imagination area gets a little blocked off because we're not focusing in on creating or having the imagination. I'm going to say to you. I'm, they're just giving me an example. Like you could see a ladybug and make a whole story out of that fruit, like a made up imaginary like story. And it could go five different ways, like the lovely ladybug or the ladybug from Haiti or meaning, you know, the, 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 the bad ladybug, whatever. Um, but the biggest thing I'm getting is whatever you're going to end up doing, it's going to end up having writing. And it's going to, it might even have, I don't know if it's code, script, whatever it is, that is one thing that's going to be very, 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 very good for you. Whatever that means for you. Um, I, 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 I truly hope that's, that's helpful, love. Yes, it is helpful. Thank you. You are so welcome. Okay. And All right. you, I hope you have an amazing rest of the night.
Thank you for calling. <clears throat> okay, you guys, I'm gonna go to the um, I'm gonna go to the next question, and that's on YouTube. Anything in love? That you know, the first thing I hear when I when I read this and I look at it, I hear this song. I don't even know if these are. Oh yeah, it is too much. It's a different beat, but it goes tomorrow, tomorrow, something like that. And then I think it will be the song, The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow by Annie. But um, I'm going to come back from that and I'm going to say tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, when they say tomorrow, it doesn't mean tomorrow is going to be the day you meet and fall in love with someone. It means it's coming in hot, coming in hot. Okay, I can't do that, apparently. Um, I cannot pull that off, I should say. I did it, but I cannot pull it in, pull it off. <laughs> My words are betraying me tonight. <laughs> oh, um, th there is a song, though, or I've heard before, coming in hot but it doesn't go anything like what I just said. But Laura, someone's coming in soon. <laughs> if you, whether you, okay, if you're just, I feel like, I feel like you are kind of single. If you're not single, you're kind of not, whatever you're doing, it's, it's not as serious as it could be, but someone or yeah, someone's coming in, hat somebody's coming in like very soon very this is just what i'm hearing um i hope that makes sense for you i do feel like this person come coming in has the potential to be long term i feel like i i, I don't feel like i'm hearing right place right time i'm hearing um that song again take a chance on me um that song and then i am hearing also um not your average guy or this might not be the type of person you normally would date or the average type like the guy he might not be like uh, what you might consider the average guy um I'm also hearing don't settle. If this person, if you look at everything and you feel like you'd be settling, he's not the one. That's not the, the person they're sending you. Um, and I just say he because that's where my brain goes, but you know, make it work the way it works for you. Um, and I do feel like the person is going to be like some cards will be held close to their chest like you might not know like they're not going to put everything on the table right away they're not going to show their whole hand right away this is because in the past people have fallen for them for the wrong reason i feel like so keep an open mind and don't discount everything with this okay love i hope that's helpful for you i'm gonna go to 850 850 what's your name and where are you calling from i'm michelle and i'm calling from florida hey michelle how can i help you today well i met a new friend and you know i'm going through the divorce and everything so it's wonderful finding a new friend but i also wonder what the motives are but she's trying to find me some work to do because i i do live on disability and so we're thinking about, she's like, I need to get out of the place where I'm at because of my ex-husband, you know, it was just drama all the time and watching me and everybody's watching me. And she's thinking about me coming to her house where the boat dock is, but I think she's kind of changed her mind and maybe me go to the marina that's close to her house, but they haven't got with her. And I'm like, that's probably going to be out of my price range. She's like, well, I'll probably pay the difference for you doing the work and stuff. So I'm just like kind of scared to move, you know, I'm just wondering what you see in the cards, you know, I'm, I'm nervous, you know, because I've been here for so long, but I also am, you know, 
I'm tired of being watched. Everybody's watching me. It's like, I can't even go to the restaurant and I'm being accused of going to a bar because it's got liquor there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, here's what I'm going to say, love. I'm going to, I'm going to do this really quick and I'm going to answer your question. First and foremost, thank you for calling in. I love hearing from you. We all love keeping up with your story. Um, I'm going to say this. Do not become dependent upon someone. This is what I'm hearing for you. Do not become dependent upon someone. Meaning, if you move and you're dependent upon whatever money she's giving so that you can pay whatever you need to pay, if she doesn't need your help any longer, you're going to be scrooged. So do not become dependent upon anyone for any reason. Any money you get right now, if you are working, you should be dashing that and saving it and not using it. Now, it's it's nice to let somebody come in and save us and fix things and do things and offer, but that is not a full that is contingent upon as long as that person needs it it's not like working for a regular company okay love and here's what i'm gonna say again for you and everybody listening the song in my head right now is i don't give up if you don't give up and i don't give up And what that basically means, I'm leaving the word out because it's a swear word. It's none of your business who's watching you, who's talking about you. And it's none of your concern. If people want to watch you, let them watch. Shine, baby, shine. Who cares? That's not your your problem. That's their problem. Show them how well you are doing. If they want to talk about it, birds be chirping all morning. Let them, let them chirp. Listen, listen. That is none of your business and it is none of your concern. Thank you for watching me glow up. Thank you for watching me move on. Thank you for seeing me and caring about how I move in these streets. Thank you. I will take all of that. I, I'm so important in your life that you're concerned about what I'm doing, where I'm going, how I'm dressing. Thank you. Mm, it is not reciprocated and it is none of my business. You can you can watch me all you want. Listen, if you're the topic of the will be a new topic, somebody else to watch, something else going on. Keep your business to you. Keep your business private. And do you. Don't run away. Never, ever run away. And when I say that, I, I mean, when you relocate from one place to another, it's because you're going towards something you really, truly want, not because you're leaving something that is not working for you. Now, if you truly feel like you need to change docs, find a doc that is affordable and works for you. And I know you're going to say, well, my boat needs to be fixed. You know what? Start calling different people that might do side jobs and find somebody to do that for you. See, see what you can maybe trade some housework or whatever for it, but don't 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 put yourself in a position where you are dependent upon someone else. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna go to Gypsy Ann. Love a connection. What do you see in my life now? It's been a lonely, quite life, quite single life. Okay. I think you want to know if there's someone coming in for you, um, Annie or Ann. I'm going to call you Ann. Uh, Annie. It's Annie. Um, is there someone coming in for her? Yes. Oh, 
you know, Annie, uh, uh, at some point down on the bottom, I want you to tell me what area you live in. I'm hearing pumpkin season. <laughs> we all know what that means. Pumpkin season, uh, the fall. I'm hearing pumpkin season. I'm hearing pumpkin season. I feel, and I'm hearing a month and a half, which this is August. That puts us September. Yeah. But October pumpkin se season or late September into October puts us pumpkin. Se is it going to be September? I feel like more September than October. I feel like you are going to have um, that song, take, uh, take Me in Your Arms, Fill Me With Your Charms. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, you're the one I want. Da -na 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 -na. Something, something, make a, a fool, uh, whatever the song, make a fool out of me. Well, I hope that's not it. Here's what I'm getting for you as my voice cracks like a prepubescent boy. Here's what I'm getting and it does it again. Oh my God. Maybe when this guy comes in, his voice is going to crack talking to you because it's just doing it. Okay. Don't let that freak you out. That's a nervousness thing on that person's part. If that happens, <laughs> it keeps doing it. Okay. Um, what I'm getting for you is about a month and a half. You do need to be out and about. Uh, this is, no, it's not something... It happens naturally or organically, okay? It's not, it's, it's, it might even be, there's a chance, there's a chance this is a setup, like somebody sets you up or does an introduction for you to this person. One thing I want to um, tell, tell you or help you with, you know, one thing I'm seeing and I hope this makes sense to you. I'm seeing meditation, doing doing meditation. What, and if you're doing it out, what, whatever. I'm just for some reason seeing you doing meditation and that helping you where with where you need to be for this situation. Okay, my love. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for the question. I'm going to go to 561. 561, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? Yes, hi. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Yes, hi. My name is Stacy from Delray. And the same question that she asked is anybody coming in? Okay, Stacy, I'm, 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 I know sometimes people don't like to answer this. I'm hearing a number, so I just need to know what's your age, love? Oh. Um, uh, I, but, um, <laughs> I graduated, um, I graduated in, Okay, Stacy, stop. High school in 1986. Stacy, listen to me. Stop right there. I know us mm -hmm. Gen Xers. We don't want to talk about our age. I, I get it. I get it. Nobody can see your face. They don't know your last name. Nobody knows who you are. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, something. If you're not 56, if you are over 56, something happened mm -hmm. at 56. No. You're, you're not 56? Yeah, I am. How old? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I am 56. Right now? Yes. Okay, thank you. So I hear 56. Thank you. See? So easy. So easy. It was so easy. Just, I'm 56. <laughs> you should be happy. There are so many that don't make it to this age right i'm i'm a little older than you so it's all good it's beautiful um but i get it i get really why people, you are yeah i get why people don't want to say their age because there's such a stigma once we hit 21 for women there's such a stigma to aging which sucks which really sucks because you know 
it, for all the reasons. But uh, Stacy, I hear 56, which tells me that it could happen during your 56th year. So thank you for, for letting me know that. I do feel like during this the age during the age of 56 and i'm just gonna say it how i'm hearing it for you love okay during the age of 56 there are many things that are going to come in that are going to change your dynamics and help you to understand yourself better but in the understanding of yourself better you're going to and what you want better and in understanding what you want better and not being afraid to ask for what you want and actually get it like you don't have to settle no matter what no matter what you look like feel like blah 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 what what amount of money you make men don't give a happy hoo-hoo about that they care about how you present to them and so during the age of 56, you're going to have so many epiphany moments if you allow yourself to, and you are going to come to a point where you realize you're the shit. And when you realize you are the shit, you are going to be able to open your eyes and see that man in front of you. And no matter what he looks like, you are going to know you are good enough. You are better than this person for this person in front of you. I'm trying to say this. I know the way they're saying it and I'm, I'm just bringing it through exactly the way they're saying it. And this isn't egoic. This is spirit. It's not like, oh, better than this man. It's not that at all. And I, it's not, um, I'm better than this person or I'm better than that person or putting people on pedestals or below us, or it's just about knowing who you are and you're good and you're kind, but don't lead, don't necessarily lead with what you can do um, for this person. Lead with, I'm just, I'm a solid person. And that's going to be the good thing for this person coming in. I do feel like as you start to understand that, like aspect of yourself and you're okay with that aspect of yourself you're gonna rock it out and you're just gonna because let me tell you something for you and everybody else love different men like are so attracted to things okay so each there are men out there that are attracted to 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 anything and everything. And the person that's attracted to you, they're just gonna be attracted to you no matter what. They're just gonna be attracted to you because it's you. It's not gonna matter, you know, a few little crow's feet or a, a, a little bit of a, none of that. None of that is going to matter. They're just gonna see and connect with you and that's gonna be it. So as much as they don't care about that, you have to not care about that. And you just have to be like, damn right. Damn right he wants me. Damn right. Of course, why wouldn't he? That's the attitude you have to show up with. Okay, love? And that is coming in during your 56th year as long as, again, you are, you are, people it's not on a dating site it's not on any any dating site i can tell you for you it is not on any dating site it is uh, again organic it is uh oh my god <laughs> it might be at a place where they offer something like that axe throwing or something along those lines when you're really just being yourself and having a good time. Okay, love? Oh, yeah. And I want to confirm something yeah. that you said when you said Julius. That's the name of my cat. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for the confirmation, beautiful. Thank you. Okay. And another thing is I won't, I won't do dating sites. I'm, I'm sorry because what? I don't want a serial. I I don't want a serial dater. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I do. Haven't dated I in do. A long time. I don't want. 
you know what? Dating yeah. sites can be great for, for men and for predators, but for women who are looking for a serious long-term, at one point, I think they really worked for when they first came out. But I just feel like now, like 90% of the people on dating sites are, it's not as successful as it, it used to be for people. But get out. And if when you're out, when you're going out and doing things like, let's just say you go axe throwing, uh, just be yourself and have fun because that's what's going to draw this person to you. Okay, love? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks. And you look you, great. I would. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I thought. I thought the thanks was the end. Thank you so much for the compliment. I'm so grateful for it. Um, I really do appreciate that. I'm sorry that I cut it off. I thought at thank you, it was, um, you were done talking, but thank you for the compliment. I really do appreciate it. And remember, I'm going to tell you this and it, it's so true. There are men that will look at any woman, even Instagram models or models on the cover of magazines, and if it's not their type, it's not their type, right? I've dated guys that are attracted to, I don't know why they went out with me, because I was not their type. They were looking at fuller women, thicker women with, you know, dark hair or whatever. So I could tell like, well, if that's what you're staring at, it's not me. What, what am I doing sitting here? Go get that. <laughs> that's what you seem to be, you know. So no matter what, um, you know, people are just, just like me, I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to, you know. So that is, and it sometimes it has to do with a look. And sometimes it has to do with the energy, but I find just like men, you know, we all have our certain body style that we like. We all have our certain energy that the person brings that we like. The same for us is the same with men. So just own it, own who you are and love it and just go with that. Okay, sweetie. And don't, don't be intimidated. Who cares if somebody doesn't like you? That just means that's not your, that's not your problem. That man is not your problem. That man, if somebody doesn't like me, I'm like, ah, well, I guess you, you're, you're not supposed to be my problem. <laughs> so, or my person, let me be nice. But, but women can, it, it can be said both ways. Okay. I'm going to go to the next question. Uh, please, please, um, if, if I'm answering your question, please. Be kind enough to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Good evening, Tony. Well, good evening, Lemmy Rise. Um, okay, will my husband move forward for the director of residences position? Yes, I hear yes. Now, if you're asking, is he going to move forward and try to attain that position? I get a yes, no, yes, no. I think he's going to be, if he hasn't already applied or tried to attain that position, I feel like he's going to be encouraged to. I feel like there's a really good shot for him. You know, I love this statement. Everybody knows this statement. You'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. It doesn't hurt to, to take a shot. It, it never hurts to take that excuse me, to take that opportunity and to, to, to go for it. Um, he is going to, if he did not, study, he will go for it. Will he get it? He has a really good chance. If he goes for it, he has a really good chance, a very, very good chance, very good chance. 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Uh, 860, Hello? what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey. See, that's how hey, it's done. It's Amla. How are you? Hey, Amla, it's been forever. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Happy summer. Happy summer. It's been a while. 
I love <laughs> summer. Summer is so magnificent. So, love, how can I help you today? Sure, sure. Um, so, um, I I guess I need some clarity. I'm talking to this person. Let's call him Bob. Um, and I just it's been a and I want to meet him, and I feel like he has a lot of health problems. Um, he beat cancer three times and blah, blah. Um, so I'm just wondering, do you feel or sense me it, moving to the next step as far as um, dating or me moving on? I guess that's the question. I'm law. Oh, man, how I wish this was a different answer. Um, you know, I'm going to say this in the most delicate, I feel like he's not as much as he might want to meet someone. He's just not going to be ready anytime soon. I think he likes to talk to people. Yeah. I think he likes to tell his story to people. I think he really likes getting... I don't want to use the word attention, but I think he really likes energy he gets from people when he tells them their story. And remember, and I yeah. don't mean to sound crude or crass about this in any way, but when you when when someone tells you about, oh my gosh, I've had cancer three times, automatically, without even thinking about it, we are sending them energy and we are being empathetic to them. And they're getting that. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like this is kind of this guy's jam. This is what maybe, you know, it, it's his story and he shares it with a lot of people and it gets him a lot of um, attention, if you will. Um, and I, I'm yeah. not saying, yeah. listen, for everybody listening who might have an opinion about the way I'm explaining this. I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just a fact. This is what the guy does. Okay. Or, and I know different people who, who it's just a fact. This is what's going on. This is just it. I don't feel like he's, he might not be looking for someone serious, but if he is looking for someone serious, he's looking for someone who can pour so much into him. And by the way, whomever that person is, they're going to have to give him a ton of attention because right now he's getting so much attention from so many different sources. So if that goes down to just yeah. one person, that's going to be a lot of energy that person's going to have to expel or expend on this person. So I would say um, right. Right. move move to the next, like, thank you, next. Um, and you can stay can, friends. But can I ask you then, like, for... Yeah, I'm actually feeling that. That's probably why you're tuning into that as well. And you, you were spot on with this person. But do you feel a certain month that might jump out at me for me and dating and, and like dating a, somebody who really is interested? Okay, Anla, I'm going to answer that quickly because there's so many people waiting. And I already did answer one question and took quite a bit of time on it and and um, you did not let me finish my ans my first answer for you. And I understand that. No, I right now I don't have a month for someone coming in and I apologize for that. I'm gonna go to the next question on um, YouTube. YouTube, hi Tony, hi Lynn, how are you? Is my significant person who is coming soon, can you tell me if he enjoys dancing? <laughs> Here's what I'm going to tell you, Lynn. Get to places where there's dancing. And then, yes, he will. If you love dancing, go to new places where there's like Salsa Saturday, um, line dance, whatever the dance is that you love. Go to those places. Embark on it. You That is your best bet because if you do that, you're going to meet someone who has an equal love. I feel like, yes. And I do, I'm going to say this to you, love. I feel like this person is um, going to really have um, a lot of passion, too, especially if they love to dance. 
people who love to dance, especially whatever type of dance, certain types of dance, they have a lot of passion. So that might be the best bet for you. Go to places where you can dance and it, go to places where you can learn a new dance also. Something that you're not already familiar with and you can have that. That I love that too. If you like to dance and you love music, that is an amazing way to meet someone. Not not necessarily at like clubs where you know younger because they're still full of younger people, but someplace where it's something like that. So much fun. So much fun. I'm gonna go to I. I think 352 is next. 352, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Good evening. This is Joanna from Florida. Hey, Joanna. How can I help you today? Hi. Uh, thank you so much for your time and for everyone. Um, I've had a very dear friend for 12 years. And uh, a little while back, he stopped talking to me for six months. And then he reached out to me. And I thought everything was, you know, going to be going good. And we started talking for a little bit. And then we weren't getting each other's messages for a while. And then he stopped talking to me again. And I'm like, uh, I didn't, I don't know if he just, like, got frustrated and gave up, you know, because I was trying to help him fix the communications, you know, the, the ways we were speaking through the different apps in, like, another four or five months. And I missed his birthday last year. I didn't reach out. I was like... Because I'm like, are both of us thinking we both, you know, just gave up or, you know, so I'm, I'm confused as to what's going on. And I'm like, so I just left him be for, you know, right now. I'm like, I, so what do you see? Do you see us communicating again, hopefully? Um, I'm just, were you hoping to have a relationship with this person, love? Like more, like a more intimate we yeah, we started out that way, but we are in different countries, so that never materialized. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say a few things here, and I hope it helps you. This is a lot of work for someone who is not going to materialize into something more substantial for you, number one. Number two, yeah. um, even if this person does start communicating with you, you again, I feel like it's a it's kind of like a no go. I think that the 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 communication stopping was more the universe saying, "Yeah, no, move on. This is not practical. This is not realistic. Right. If you want someone who can actually be in a real like real like a person to person relationship, not just a, 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 a over the phone relationship, you need to." Uh, meet somebody else. And I do feel like I'm going to say this. I feel like this person kind of, the, the two things I'm getting that are the most important things like this just in and then this just in, this person may be communicating with a number of different people in the same way. And I do yeah. also feel like this person is a bit of a game player. They know exactly what they're doing. So when yeah. it starts to run hot with somebody else, the communication stops and they blame it on something. But then when that fizzles out or gets bored, then comes back and goes, oh, I, I didn't tell you. <laughs> Single men, they know how to use communication with a phone. They know how to use those apps. Let me tell you, we give way too much of a benefit of a doubt to these people who truly know what they are doing. They are full grown people. They Listen, my little niece, when she was four, could get into my phone, pull things up, find things, do th four years old. Okay, full grown men right. know what they're doing with a phone on an app. And if they don't, they're gonna research what they need to do because what's important, we will figure out. Boom. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, and bless you. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, he's probably talking to other people, you know, which are taking his priority. And, and then, right, exactly, exactly everything you said. Exactly. I agree with you. 
So exactly. the best you thing you can me. do, the best thing you can do is um, find somebody local. And I do feel like you are going to, you have the potential to meet somebody. Let me ask you something. Do you like, ah, uh, this is such a weird question. Do you like animals? Like, do, do you like animals? Yes, I love animals. Okay, good. Because what I'm seeing is like either A, you're like volunteering at like, um, let's just say like a place where there's animals or you're, you're, I feel like you meet this person doing something that has to do with animals. That's the way I can say this. Cause I see you like, like it, it looks like what would be considered like an animal rescue or a, a, a humane society. And like people are coming in and looking at the cats or the dogs or, and then you have the potential to meet somebody that way. Okay, love, that's one way you could meet somebody. All righty, sweet pea. Thank you, Blessy, so much. Yes, thank you. You are so, 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 so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. And please call again and let us know how that works out. I'm going to tell you guys, you know, I love answering these types of questions and having y'all on here. And, um, uh, and, and all of that goodness. I just love it so much. And I love the fact that I can answer these questions for you guys and help you um, and do it. I try to do it as quickly as possible. As most of you know, I only have an hour for the show that airs on WSES and Rude Rangers TV, all of their stations. Um, and I do come on twice a week, every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central. If you click the like, you will um, know every time I'm on. Hey, Michael, how are you? What a pleasant surprise. Elizabeth, um, I'm going to uh, do you next. I would love to know anything me moving will be Will I be happy where I wind up? Yes, yes, wherever you want. You know, when, you, yes, I, I just get like this. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like you're ecstatic. You're not happy, you're ecstatic. So yes, yes, do, start, go, jump, 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 jump and do it. It's going to be one of the best things you did. The energy of wherever you're going is amazing like it's just such a good feeling like i want to be where you're gonna be <laughs> that's all i can say i just want to be wherever you're going um so i hope that helps you guys the time is winding down um i don't know if i have if i can uh, let me see what i have here hey amy um ah uh, hey moon mama Okay, I want to answer a couple questions. I'm just going to do speed answers as quickly as I can to get as many people in as possible. Um, Amy May, will I go to the lake this weekend with my little buddy? Yes, you will. Yes, yes, you will. Alexis. <laughs> Alexis, hi, Tony. Again, question What will happen for me? in October 5th, because it's my birthday month of this year. Okay. Uh, I feel like, you know, you're going to have some spiritual things come in. You might, I'm going to say this, Alexis, there is going to be some spiritual things that come in and they might shake you or rattle you a little bit, but they might supposed to do that. That's such improper English. They're supposed to wake you up a little bit. They're supposed to wake you up a little bit. Like wake you up more. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to go to 651. 651, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christy. I'm not calling from Minnesota. Okay, Christy, I have like three minutes. So quickly give me a question, please. 
Okay, well, you might not have time for it, but um, I heard a man's voice. He had a deeper voice, and he was talking to me while I was on a show, another show. And um, I was just wondering if there's any message coming through, even if it's quick, something quick. Okay. Hey, do um, I, I, you know, I'm not even sure I understand your question, to be honest with you. Did you know the man's voice? It, do you have someone on the other side? No, you... I heard it, like, clear audience, so oh. I wasn't sure Okay, was. thank you. I'm going to tell you this. You're supposed to, this, I'm not going to answer a question. I'm going to tell you what, let me tell you, Christy, what you need to do now. Let me run your life. No, I'm kidding, sweetie. I'm so joking. Uh, you need to sit down and start <laughs> communicating with this person because this is, a guide. This is one of your, it's a person from your spiritual team. Anything you want to know about this person, their name, what they're there for, what their purpose is, or any of your other spiritual team, you're supposed to sit your little booty down, sit it down, just sit it down and start communicating with them. The best way to do this, I'm going to say this for you, Christy, and everybody listening if you need to get into that space where you are clearing your mind, you take three very slow, deep breaths in, you follow that breath in, you follow it out. And you the, at, by the third one, your mind is in that place and you just ask a question, say, hey, dude, what should I call you? They don't care what we call them. They'll probably say anything to be perfectly honest. And then you, you go from, from that. Okay, Christy, uh, the answer here is that was your cue to start communicating with your crew. Okay, thank you so much for the question. I love that question, by the way. Um, uh, Moon Mama, I'm good. Thank you so much. What is coming for me in love, Moon Mama? I'm going to try to answer this in the little bit of time I have left. What's coming in love? Um, I hear that. I think it's Elvis Presley. I got a whole lot of love. Um, I don't know if that's Elvis. I think. I don't know. Um, is something coming in in August, September, October? In October, you can start uh, preparing. I feel like in October, something bigger is coming in. It's going to be, I don't know why I hear this, Moon Mama, Kaleida, like kaleidoscope. That's all I'm being allowed to tell you for right now, kaleidoscope. And I just see, you know, when you look through that thing where you turn it and it's like a kaleidoscope, but the, it could be the name of a, I don't know what kaleidoscope means for you. You're going to know. Hey, first name, last name. Um, how are you? Um, hey, Sally, how are you? Okay, I'm going to try to do... Uh, 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 Okay, first name, last name says, it's been a merry-go-round with career. I'm feeling frustrated and fed up in PA. 90 seconds. Um, do you see it getting better here for me with my business or me moving soon to start over? I feel like you're going to move to an area that's more prosperous for you, that has better energy for you personally. I feel like you should start looking now. I feel like you need to go where business is flourishing. 60 seconds. And it feels really good to you. Okay. You guys, I am, I promise you, I'm going to try to come on. Oh my gosh. I feel so guilty. I did not get to, to so many people. Um, I'm going to try to come on this weekend and do another show. Woo!